in the following graph is y a function of x. So in order for y to be a function of x, for any x that you input into the function, any x for which the function is, is defined, so let's say we have y is equal to f of x, so we have our little function machine, it should spit out exactly one value of y. If it spits out multiple values of y, we don't know what f of x is going to be equal to. It could be equal to any of those possible values for y. So let's see if this, for this graph, whether for a given x, it spits out exactly one y. Well, the function seems to be only defined, so the domain of this function is x is equal to negative two. That's the only place where we have a definition for it. And if we try to input, if we try to input negative two into this little, this little black box, what do we get? Do we get exactly one thing? No, we put in negative two here, we could get anything. Negative two, the point negative two nine is on, is, is on this relation. Negative two eight is on this relation. Negative two seven, negative two seven point five, negative two three point one four one five nine. They're all on these. So if you put a negative two into this relation, you actually get you actually get, essentially, you actually get an infinite set of values. It could be nine, it could be 3.14, it could be eight, it could be negative eight. You get an infinite number of results. So since you, it does not map to exactly one output of this function, the following graph, in the following graph, y is not a function of x.